sorry to disappoint you, but your little trick didn't work. What are you raving on about now? Trying to grasp me up to social services. What? Mum! Why would I do that? Oh, come on. Because of Holly? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody hasn't. So it wasn't St Gail? No, it was not. Look, this isn't going to help anything, is it? I'd listen to your son if I were you. Come inside, Mum. I'm going to the shop, if that's all right with you. Everything OK over there? It were you, wasn't it? What? Grass me up to social services. What are you talking about? But you don't want Holly at work. Just spare me the amateur dramatics, Steve. Do you honestly think I'd do that after everything I've been through with Amy? Yeah, well, you better be telling the truth. Shit. Four to two Celsius, that's 36 Fahrenheit. So that's Steve and Gail denying it. Not that they're going to admit it. Who else is there? Norris and Blanche. Yeah, they're a right pair of snitches. Look, will you stop going on? <laughs> you got to be joking. I'm not going to let this rest until I get to the bottom of it. Who else is there? Oh, I tell you, I wouldn't put it past. Sally Webster. <laughs> She's a self-righteous cow when she wants to be. Oh, give it a rest, And then eh? that's that woman you work for. What, Jodie? Mm. Can't have a baby upsetting her shop conversion, can we? Well, you can't go accusing her, can you? Why not? Well, cos I could lose my job. Yeah, and we could have lost Holly if Shirley hadn't been so understanding. Mum, she didn't do it. Oh, how do you know? Cos it were me. I don't know why you told social services we couldn't cope. Well, if you'd listened when I kept saying it... But, oh, no, all you said was I had to do it, like it or not. I didn't realise you were finding it so hard. Oh, what, with all the lectures about how useless I was as a father? Well, now you know. Ringing social services, that's the most stupid thing you could have done. Well, what else was I supposed to do? You didn't want to know. Sarah thought I was super dad. I couldn't run away again. I thought I was going insane yesterday. All dads feel like that. They just have to go through with it. All dads who want the kids, maybe. Look, you might feel like that now. Mum, I don't want this kid. Can you not get it into your head? I've tried to love her. I've tried to cope. I just can't handle it. You pushed me into all this. I know you found it hard at first, but I thought you'd come round. What, were you and Sarah making me feel bad? It's not like I had much choice. I thought you'd warm to her. I'm sorry if I didn't listen. You've been too obsessed keeping her to listen. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I want her. I adore her. I just can't believe you don't feel the same. You get the life you want, so I've got to give up mine. Oh, that is so unfair. Well, it's the truth. Ever since this baby was dumped on us, it was never about me, it was about you. I never asked to keep this kid. You did. Well, she's all yours now. You can have her. <laughs>